Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about the Cascode Current Mirror using MOSFET transistors. Uh, so I have drawn a Cascode Current Mirror. And the uh, first thing to notice is that um, these transistors, M1 and M2, they share, they share the same uh, VGS voltage because of the way they are connected. Um, and so there is one VGS uh, voltage drop um, between ground and the gate of M1, which is connected to the drain of M1. And then there is another VGS voltage right here. And therefore, uh, the gate of M4 is sitting at 2 VGS. And uh, what that implies, so basically, um, gate of M4, VG4 is equal to 2 VGS. Now VGS is equal to, um, or VGS minus VT is the overdrive voltage, and therefore uh, VGS can also be expressed as the overdrive voltage plus VT. So we can express this as uh, 2 times VOV plus VT, or 2 VOV plus 2 VT. That's the voltage uh, that VG4 is sitting at. And therefore, uh, when we um, look at the drain of M4, it needs to be sitting at at least uh, the overdrive voltage of M4, meaning VDS um, or VGS minus VT, since uh, VG is sitting at VOV plus 2 VT. If we subtract 1 VT, that means that uh, V out equals VD4 needs to be greater than or equal to. Uh, VG4 minus VT, which will be 2 VOV plus VT. And so basically, uh, that means that, you know, we have a, a limitation on compliance. So uh, note that compliance in this current source um, Limited to V out greater than or equal to VOV plus VT. And that's a limitation. Uh, other than that, the circuit performance is uh, fairly good. The circuit is highly accurate. So my I out over I ref is going to be ID2 over, I, over ID1. And um, assuming it was as transistors, it's going to be equal to 1 if we um, take the different aspect ratios. Then it's going to be equal to the ratio of those aspect ratios. Uh, notice that I don't have the problem with the VDS mismatches that I had in the Wilson uh, current mirror. And so with respect to the standard to the basic current mirror, it has good accuracy. In terms of output resistance, uh, it's going to be uh, the same as the uh, the Wilson current mirror because it has a very similar output structure. So in essence, uh, GM4 times R out 4 times R out 2. Uh, numbers are different just because I've labeled um, the transistors differently from the Wilson current mirror, but exactly the same is basically GM of the uh, transistor that's connected to the output uh, times R out for the two transistors that are connected on the output branch. Uh, now it is possible to, so basically I'm going to say comparison with basic mirror one uh, better accuracy or better current transfer ratio Are out improved by a factor of GM4 at out 4 and 3 uh, basically lower compliance uh, 
um, since we have plus beta greater than or equal to v will be plus vt. Uh, notice that uh, we have the the voltage value uh, for the drain of transistor M2 just because of the way the circuit is connected is that M2 is going to be equal to uh, Vt plus Vob or Vob plus Vt when in reality uh, you only need Vob to have the transistor in saturation uh, so it is possible to modify the cascode current mirror slightly uh, to tighten things up a little bit so that um, you only have M2 and M4 on the edge of saturation as opposed to having them well into the saturation region and that basically expands your compliance range and so there is a um, uh, solution to limited compliance would be the um, the wide swing cascode mirror and basically what you're doing with the wide swing cascode mirror uh, it's very similar in structure you have your IREF and your four transistors Basically, uh, M1, M2, M3, and M4. And what you do is, um, in order not to have uh, the additional voltage, you know, 2 VOV uh, plus 2 plus VT on the uh, gate of M4, you basically bias that externally. So you apply a bias voltage here, V bias, with that voltage that you need, so Vt plus 2 Vob. Plus 2 Vob. What you do now is, uh, instead of connecting the two transistors M1 and M3 as a, a diode connected transistor, each one of them, you just connect um, the gate of M1 to the drain of M3 in the following fashion. And so basically what that implies is that uh, the voltage here, Vs will be uh, Vob plus Vt. Your M2 now is able to run with just Vob. Um, at its drain and still be in saturation. Uh, M2 is going to be mirrored, uh, and so you can run also with VOV there. And this will be VOV plus VT over here because of the direct connection. And so basically, it is possible to run your circuit and lower your output voltage uh, all the way to the point where you have uh, two VOV at your output and have all your transistors on the verge of saturation and the circuit is still working properly. So therefore, uh, we can note that um, V out can go as low as VOV, sorry, as low as 2 VOV, not VOV because you still have M2 and M4 to keep in saturation, and still keep All transistors in saturation. Uh, main limitation is that you need an external bias. So it requires an external bias voltage V bias equals Vt plus 2 Vob. And uh, one typical way that that voltage is implemented is actually be a fifth transistor, which is connected right here. And uh, the way it is connected is um, this will be the, uh, the drain of the transistor. Let's see if I have enough space to put it 
fit it in there. That would be RM5. And I think maybe I need to open some room here. So I'm going to move these guys a little bit to the right. Okay. Let's try opening up some room like this. This was M2, that was M4. This is I out. Uh, and again, uh, one possible way will be a transistor M5 connected right there. Which will be connected in a diode fashion. With the same reference current uh, flowing through it, but basically it can be shown that uh, if this transistor is one fourth or 0.25 the size of the other transistors, meaning assuming all transistors M1 through M4 are matched in size, uh, but M5 being one fourth of that size, uh, it can be shown that the voltage that develops at the uh, drain of M5, which is essentially connected to the gate of M4. Um, so, uh, implementation M5 has width over length 5 being equal to 1 fourth of width over length for all the other transistors. Uh, then VD5 equals VG4 is equal to VT plus 2VOV. And so therefore it's uh, one possible implementation. Uh, the typical one that you will see for that uh, white swing cascode mirror. And uh, that's it. That concludes our uh, review of the different types or different types of MOSFET mirrors. Um, and now we are move, uh, ready to move on to the next topic. Thank you.